And essentially this is exactly what I'm looking for. Now I'm not looking for a dead log. What I'm looking for is this. You can see the absolute markings which have been created by something which is actually clawed into this. And it can only be one of two things. A giant anteater or a tamanjua, which is also an anteater as well. Uh, but this is absolutely typical of them actually scratching and getting into logs essentially to get one of two things. Ants or termites. So they're here. <laughs> well, church, I have some good news and I got some bad news. The good news is I'm still alive and so is he. Bad news is, bad news church is I'm down to one and a half shears, which not, not too good but this here is an anteater and they are the gauze and I'm gonna see if I can bring this guy down because this little guy is absolutely amazing All right, George. Here we go. Come and do it. You come and down here. Now, tamanduras are a boreal species. Humans are not. When arboreal species are placed under pressure, they generally resort to one option. That's right, Chuchi, they climb to the highest part of the canopy. Now, using some rope, I'm tying the branch hairs on to a fixed branch underneath. This will allow me to safely cut the branch hairs on. The idea was to slowly lower the branch down, so I'd worked out some very simple calculations in my head as to the length of the rope tied to the trunk Thus, the distance at which the branch would become suspended so it could be easily lowered down. However, regrettably, I had made a miscalculation. Oh shit, not gonna work. That's okay. Here, right. here. Right. Sorry for the shit, Landy. But it's alright. Because. Ah! Whoa! Okay. Okay, now. I've heard stories about these guys. Whoa! Okay. Okay. Whoa. Okay, stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Let me just do this. Stay. 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 Okay. Okay. Hush. Hush. Okay, let's just grab this guy. Let's go grab this guy. Just see, display, just put it on. That's okay, that's okay. Okay, okay, just wait. Just gonna bring him back over towards the camera. Just gonna try and get this guy sorted out. Okay, just wait. Wait there, wait there. I've got a stick, I've got a stick. I know you can't see what's going on. It's all right. Ah! Oh! All right, so this guy here, he's known as the Tamanjua. You can just see the display that he's putting on. Essentially, that's a warning display because if I get my hands in here, he can cut me open something severe. All right, let me just grab my camera. Okay, just go in that way. Watch my feet, watch my feet. Okay, just wait, wait. Come over this way, come over this way, come over this way. Yeah, very well calculated animal. Whoa! Okay. Okay. Let's try and bring him over. Let's try to bring him over. Whoa! Hey, Yorick! 
Okay, okay, okay. Okay, settle, settle, settle. So this guy here is known as the Southern Tamandra, I believe. And predominantly, this guy is an ant eater. Ant eater and termites. But the thing is, you don't want to get too comfortable with one of these guys because they can literally cut you open like a knife through butter, quite literally. Now, the funny thing about this species is predominantly they are arboreal, but they often do come down to the ground. And it's obviously not as big and menacing. It's obviously not as big as, uh, and as menacing as the giant anteater, his relative. But this guy still can put up quite a display. And you can just see that he's very calculated animal. Kind of reminds me almost like a monitor lizard, the way a monitor lizard would defend itself. Oh, let me just bring you over here. You're okay. Don't claw me. Don't claw me. Okay, just wait one sec. Just wait one sec. There's one bit of information I want to get out about about used as a species. And it's really, really, really important. Yeah, my stick just broke. Okay. Okay, just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Yeah. Okay, just wait. Just wait. Now, They've got sharp claws, amazingly sharp claws that will cut through you unbelievably. But the Tamandua is under threat in many, in many places, not just deforestation. But get this, people actually kill these animals, not just for the meat, but for the tendons in their tail, because the tendons make apparently fantastic rope. Now, these guys here, their eyesight isn't the best, but they do have an amazing, they do have an amazing sense of smell. And yes, they are very cute, but you have to be extremely careful because once again, if they get you, whoa, if they get you, you're not going to forget it. The Southern Tamandua is predominantly nocturnal, but can be seen moving around during the middle of the day. These guys will generally rest in hollow trees, tree trunks, and burrows of other animals. They are both a savannah and jungle specialists and are completely solitary, occupying home ranges from 100 to 375 hectares. More needs to be done to protect this species in rural farming areas. More also needs to be done with Nike producing quality jungle shoes that don't fall apart.